So what we're looking at here is a radioactive decay curve. And straight up, I just want to say that every single radioactive decay curve is the same. Okay, So there's no real variation of a radioactive decay curve. No matter what country, no matter what language, one radioactive decay curve represents the radioactive decay process. Now in this particular diagram, what we're looking at, we're looking at radioactive decay for the parent isotope carbon-14. Okay, so we know that one half-life is 5,730, um, two half-lives will be 11,460, and so on. Um, they happen to put on the y-axis the fraction of parent remaining. So one over one is one, uh, so then we have a half, and then we have a quarter, then we have one over eight, and then we have, uh, well, one over 16, and one over 32. That's how our fractions go. This could also be presented in terms of percents. So this could be 100% here, this could be 50%, this could be 25%, this could be 12.5%, and onward. Across the bottom on the x-axis, we have no half-lives, meaning that the rock or the bone is brand new, and no radioactive decay has occurred at all. And as you can see, this whole thing is brown, which represents all parent isotope with no daughter. So then after half one half-life, you take all of that parent and you half it. So you look here and you have 50% parent, or sorry, daughter and 50% parent. Then you're going to take this 50% parent and you're going to half it again. And so you're going to get this half of parent left, and then the other half joins the previous half. So in this case, we have 25% parent right here and 75% daughter here. And so you keep taking the brown parent that's left, and you keep halving it, halving it, and halving it. And whatever goes to daughter just adds on to the previous amount. So as you go across from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see that the amount of parent is increasing and the amount... Oh, sorry, the amount of daughter is increasing and the amount of parent is decreasing. And so that is essentially a radioactive decay curve. Um, just be aware that over here on the uh, y-axis, it could be in fraction format, it could be in percent format, or it also could be in grams format, which is no different. So, for example, if right here it said uh, 200 grams, well, then after one half-life, there would be 100 grams, and then after another half-life, there would be f uh, 50 grams. And so that's it. That's all that's to a radioactive decay curve.